Hello, I'm recording this video on November 14th, 2017, and it's about what I'm expecting for your researched argument paper. Um, I want you to feel free to start writing the most important part of the paper rather than writing the introduction and following the outline that you may have set for yourself. Because what I'm really looking for in this researched argument paper is your argument that is supported by research and that um, primarily means your, your research, your analysis, you're looking into your primary source or sources. So I want your argument to be at the forefront of this paper. You did research, you did some secondary research. Um, for some of you, uh, it's going to be very easy to weave in context or um, critics' points that agree or align with yours in with your analysis. For some people, it's going to be harder to, um, to weave those voices together. So I want, yours, I want you to um, be sure that yours is the prominent voice. The, uh, so the primary source is primarily what I want to hear about. Secondary sources are um, not just secondary, research in terms of what a source is, but um, secondary sources are great and they're required, um, but this is not a research paper in the sense of, I don't know something about a topic so you, you've done research and you're going to teach me about it. It's a research argument paper and I call it that because I want to highlight that it's an argument paper, it's your argument if something is demagoguery or not. And you have some research to support that, but you can also use your secondary sources. Um, you can argue against them. Someone might have said, yes, this is demagoguery and you think it's not, or vice versa. So you can use your sources in a variety of ways. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you understand this is not an informational uh, summary. So be careful of that, especially if in your presentation you You've done a lot of summary. You've done a lot of catching your audience up on the context or the situation or the plot if it's a literary um, text. So, uh, so yeah, don't view your writing process necessarily unless this is going to work for you. Your writing process is whatever works, but you don't have to view it from like introduction, paragraph one, paragraph two. The best information that my advisor gave me about writing my dissertation was that you start with what's easiest to write so you don't get just stuck and, uh, and what you feel that you can talk about the most easily and hopefully that's applying your analytical lens to the primary text or texts. And that's the most important thing. That might swell until it fills 1500 words and that's the minimum for the assignment. So I don't want you to get bogged down and write summary, 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 or summary of sources, synthesis of secondary sources, and then you're at a thousand words and you haven't done your analysis yet, because that, that balance is not right. Um, it should be mostly your analysis supported by research. Um, your, your, your research in terms of what you are reading and uh, you know, analyzing your primary source, and um, showing that you've done a little bit of reading around and you know what some other people think about this topic, um, even though it's not exactly the same kind of match of a demagoguery reading of your primary text. So I wanted to make sure that was clear, and I'm going to write in, in this announcement um, a couple other housekeeping type things. So good luck on your papers, and I've enjoyed seeing your presentations. I can't wait to read the papers themselves in a couple weeks.